welcome to my channel. Today I have absolutely no idea how to begin this video and this video kind of scares me but in a good way. Um, this is going to be my makeup collection of 2015 and this is going to be my very first time sharing with you my entire makeup collection. This is probably the most requested video on my channel like ever in the history of my channel. And as you guys know and have realized, I have been trying to push it away because A, I haven't been really happy with the way that I store my makeup, B, there's a lot to go through and I wasn't sure how to actually do this video, and C, the comments. Because I know they're going to come and I know that they're going to be there, but as we all know, a disclaimer must come and it's coming now. I am not in any way trying to brag or show off my makeup collection. That is not the idea of this video. This is a very special video because I just reached 30,000 subscribers. And I told you guys, when I reached 30,000 subscribers, I would do this video. This is for my lovely subscribers, those that are loyal and true to me. And I just want to thank you so, so much for helping me to reach 30,000 subscribers. This has gone so, so quickly and I, I honestly can't even believe it. I'm so proud, I'm so happy. I could cry but I'm not going to because this is a happy and exciting video. But honestly, it means more to me than words could possibly describe. So this is my way of saying thank you to you guys. You mean the world to me. Another disclaimer is that this is also going to be a very long video because I want to show you everything in one video. So please Go grab a cup of coffee or a soda and some popcorn or whatever because it's going to be a long one but an exciting one. So without further ado, I will show you my makeup collection. So here is my desk where I do my makeup on an everyday basis and as you can see, I store some of those everyday makeup things that I use on a daily basis so it's just easy to grab and Back there, I store all of my makeup brushes and I'm quickly just going to go through them but if you want a more like in-depth description of all of my brushes, leave a comment down below and I'll do kind of like a brush collection video if you're interested obviously. But else, let's just get you closer to this little area and I'll show you everything that I've got. The mirror over there to the left is from Obiho Nordica, which is kind of like a magnifying mirror. So if we just start out with this organizer, this is where I store all of my everyday makeup, like the makeup that I just want to grab quickly in the morning, so it's not taking like an hour to do my makeup. And um, this organizer here is actually from Nemes Copenhagen, which is a Danish brand. And it's really great for like storing your everyday makeup. And it looks really pretty as well, very organized and sorted. It's also got a little holder here in the front where you can store all of your lipsticks, which is really nice. I've got some MAC lipsticks here. These are Cream Cup, uh, Myself, um, Pure Sen, Hue, Angel and Blangety. I mostly use like nudes on an everyday basis so obviously most of these that I've got here are nudes and back here I've got some limited edition Bobbi Brown um, lipsticks. These are from the um, Christmas collection from 2014 and um, then I've also got some like of their normal lipsticks. This is the one called Brown which is the one that is kind of like named after Bobbi Brown. This was one of her first lipsticks or actually the first one that she created. And this one is actually my favorite. This is called Pale Pink. This is such a pretty pink color. Then here in the back, I've got my MAC uh, paint pot in the color Soft Ochre, which I use as an eye base for my eyeshadows. I've also got the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, which is my favorite powder. And I actually have to go grab a new one because I'm almost out of this one. Then I also store my Chanel Sheer Illuminating Base, which is such a great primer, especially if you want that illuminated radiant glow. And here I store my absolute favorite foundation at the moment, the Makeup Forever HD foundation. If you want flawless skin that just looks airbrushed and perfect, that is the one to go for. Then in this little cube mug, I actually store some cotton tips or Q-tips as you can see. These are kind of like pointed in the end, which is really smart because then you can do some precision work with them. And I just really like them and I like this mug. It says Sula, which means sweetie. In the back I've got the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay because I use that one all the time just for an everyday makeup. In the back some Bobbi Brown eyeshadows. 
They look like this, really beautiful, rose gold and cognac. And then I've got my Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palettes here. I've got three different ones. Two of them are like for eyeshadows, as you can see. I'm totally out of bone. I need to go grab a new one. I've also got this one here. Really great as well. Great colors for an everyday look. And also some blushes right there. I just store them back there because I use them on a daily basis and they're just easy to grab like that. Then over here we've got some concealers. I've got the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer, the L'Oreal True Match concealer and the MAC Pro Longwear concealer. And back here I've got some, um, this is my Gush Defining Brow Gel. Really love that one, it's my favorite brow gel. And I've also got the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara because I use it for my bottom lashes and the Ico Skinny Brush Mascara. Over here I store some tweezers um, because that I know where they are and I also store my Shumura eyelash curler. And then here I've got the MAC CC Cream, this is the neutralized one. And I've also got the Bobbi Brown Skin Smoother Pore Perfector, which is a great like pore perfecting primer. Here I've got the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Moisture Balm, which is also kind of like a primer and a kind of like illuminating moisture cream as well. And I've also got some hand sanitizer because that is really important to keep your hands clean and free from bacteria when you do your makeup. So that is what I've got in this section. So I don't want to go too much into detail about all of my brushes because that is a whole nother video as I said before. But if you want to see a brush collection video, let me know because I would love to do one for you. These little holders, they are from Ikea, I believe. And as you can see, in this one I store all of my eyeshadow brushes, all of them actually. And also some lip brushes as well, just as small brushes. In the next one I store all of my foundation brushes and also my like concealer brushes, so um, everything for like liquid um, makeup. In the next one I store kind of like my smaller face brushes, like my sheer powder um, face brush from Bobbi Brown, which is my absolute favorite brush for like everything, it's so good. I also store some bronzer brushes here, this is a MAC um, 168 I believe. Um, and also my NARS ETA brush and some Real Techniques ones. And then in this one I store all of my powder brushes. So all of the big ones that I've got, as you can see, there's a big one from Real Techniques from the Bold Metals collection and some more Real Techniques and some MAC as well. And then in the last one here, as you can see, I store my beauty blenders and also some Kabuki brushes and a little scissor as well. I feel like that it's very sorted and easy for me to find whatever brush I need to use. So I really like this um, way that I've organized my brushes. Now let's move on to my desk. This is where I store most of my makeup. I am a makeupaholic, you know that, so don't get scared when you see the first drawer. This is where I store all of my face products, like foundation, powders, blushes, highlighters, you name it really, primers as well, and CC, BB creams, all of that jazz. And this is actually one of my favorite drawers that I've got because I am in love with foundation, I love trying out new foundations. And as you can see, I've tried to store all of it very organized so I know exactly where everything is. And these um, holders right here, they are also from Ikea. If we start out right here in the bag, it's kind of difficult for you guys to see. Um, but I've got all of my primers back here. These over here to the right, they're all of the like illuminating primers like my L'Oreal Lumi Matte Chic, also my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer with Radiance and my Happy Life from Bourjois. And over here to the left, I've got all of my mattifying primers or pore perfecting primers like the Professional and the Insta Blur from um, the Body Shop and just random bits and bobs and also the hourglass one. And then right here I store all of my kind of like CC creams and BB creams. I also store kind of like my light foundations like the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua. Right here I've also got my, one of my favorite foundations. This is the Air Flash um, foundation from Dior. I've also got some CC creams. This is from Gosh. it's okay, but too um, pink in this undertone for me. I've got the Laura Mercier um, Tinder Moisturizer, I love that one so, so much. I've got the B, uh, the Tinder Moisturizer from Bobbi Brown as well, and the um, BB Cream from Benefit, the big easy one. And there's just a lot of different stuff. Also the, oh, I really like this one. This is the 
Estee Lauder um, Enlightened EE -E Cream. This is so, so good if you've got some hyperpigmentation. Then over here, I've got all of my concealers and these are both highlighting concealers. They're like covering concealers. So there's a lot of different ones as you can see. Um, I've got my um, Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brightener. This is for the under eye area. It's so, so great for brightening up. I've got the Clarence Instant Concealer. I've got the MAC Concealer Kit Down Hair. I like that one, but I'm much more into like the Dover Applicator Concealers. I've got the L'Oreal True Match, um, just a uh, backup and some more MAC and I've also got the Bobbi Brown, oh this is actually a foundation stick but I really like to use this one for concealing actually because it's really high coverage. I've got a lot of different ones, also the um, Chanel one, I've also got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers but I don't really use them, it's right there, but I don't really use that one right now because it's way too dark. I've also got the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, so so great if you're going traveling this year because it's waterproof so it stays on forever and ever and ever. Then if we move over here, I've got all of my different foundations and they're kind of like stored in a very specific way. Over here, I've got all of my drugstore foundations. Here, I've got all of my high-end foundations and some more high-end foundations. And I know I am a foundation whore. I absolutely love trying out new foundations. I'm always on the hunt for the perfect new foundation. I've got the um, L'Oreal Lumi Matte Chic. Um, this is the um, light infusing foundations. I like that one, but it's a bit of a weird shade range they've got, so I don't really use that one that much. I've also got my beloved True Match foundation from L'Oreal in the color W2, which has been discontinued, which really sucks because it's a perfect shade for me. Um, some Rimmel, Bourgeois, and um, Rimmel, Rimmel. Oh, that one was actually Maybelline, I believe. Yes, this is the Superstay Better Skin. This is actually really good. This is the Infallible 24 Hour from L'Oreal. I actually hated it the first day when I tried it out. Um, but I've come to absolutely love it and I got two different shades that I'm kind of like mixing. Then over here, as I said, high-end foundations. We've got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Love that one so much. I've got the um, Marc Jacobs, what's it called? Um, uh, Genius Gel Foundation. This is in the color Bisque Light. Um, some Face and Body from MAC, some Chanel. This is the... Chanel Vitamin Yeah, um, Satin Smoothing Fluid Makeup. I've also got some NARS, this is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, which is one of my favorites. I've got some YSL as well, these are the Fusion Ink ones, and some more YSL back here, Christian Dior. And over here I've got some more, I've got the Lorac um, Natural Performance Foundation, and also the new NARS, um, what's it called? Um, all day luminous await this foundation. I still have to try this one out. I have to do like a first impression on it And also one more that I need to try out is the new um, or not new But this is new in my collection the Charlotte Tilbury light wonder foundation I'm probably going to do like a first impression and now I can't fit it down. No! I also just got some MAC and some um, Dior and some Makeup Forever and yeah Bobbi Brown as well. Over here is all of my highlighters from Bobbi Brown I love my highlighters from Bobbi Brown, they're kind of like a collector's thing for me. I've already done a video where I tell you all about these different ones and show you which ones I've got, so I'm not going to go through them. Over here I saw some um, highlighters from Chanel. This one is so, so pretty. And I've also got the new one here, this is the one called Camellia de Plum. And it looks so beautiful, just look at that. That is a pretty highlighter. Then in the back here, as you can see, I actually store some face powders that I don't really use that much. There is my Bobbi Brown um, Sheer Press Powder right there, which is really great. And I've also got the um, Benefit the Professional Shine Vanishing Pro Powder. like that one as well. Um, and also the NYX um, HD Studio Finishing Powder. I've got a lot of different powders really, um, but not some that I use on a daily basis. Then if we look down here, I've got some different blushes right here. All of these are from MAC and um, yeah, these are actually from the new MAC collection. The ones called Crisp Whites and Hipness and these were from the Alluring Aquatic collection from last year's summer collection. I've got a really fierce Bobbi Brown um, blush. This is the one called Flame. I actually use this as an eyeshadow instead of a blush but if you are really dark skinned, this is going to be beautiful on you. Um, I've also got my Estee Lauder Tease um, blush, 
which is such a beautiful blush. And I've also got some of the cheek palettes from Bobbi Brown right here. As you can see, they're really beautiful. You get three different blushes, and this one in the middle is kind of like a highlighter and a blush in one. Else, I've just got some different like blushes from MAC. I've got the one called Well Dressed, and also Style, and Mocha, and Melba. And then here, I stole some more blushes. These are the Dream Touch blushes. This is one called 05, and I honestly haven't tried these yet, so I have to try them out soon. And I also store some L'Oreal blushes here and a um, cream blush from Dior. Over here I've got all of my Milani blushes. I absolutely love all of them. I've got all of the shades, all of the colours. My favourite one is probably the one called Luminoso. It is right here Luminoso. As you can see it's so so beautiful. It's kind of like the perfect peachy blush if you ask me. Then right here I've got four of the new, or actually all of them. These are the new um, blushes from Max Factor Open. They look like this, they're so beautiful. Then back here, this is actually a mixture of both a highlighter, this one is from Stila. Haven't used it in a while, but it's so beautiful. Um, and also some different blushes. This one is from Bobbi Brown, this is a one called Maui. So, so, so beautiful, great blush. And um, yeah, just some different ones, also from Chanel and stuff like that. And the last one over here is all of my highlighters. And I love highlighters so, so much. I especially like MAX highlighters. I think if the one thing that they do really well, it's their mineralized skin finishes. I've got like Light Scapade and Soft and Gentle and Perfect Topping as well. Um, also the NARS Albatross um, highlighter. I think this is kind of like a must-have. Um, I really like it. And here I store my Hourglass ambient lighting blushes and also my ambient lighting palette thing. I love these. These are so high quality and beautiful on the cheeks. Then I've also got the blushes called Luminous Blush right there. Beautiful pinky based um, blush and also the one called Dim Infusion which is more corally peachy. And that was that drawer. The next drawer down there is all of my bronzes and I'm also a bronzer whore. I've also got all of my perfumes right here and if you want me to do an updated perfume collection let me know as well. Over here just all some extra skincare and stuff like that. I've also got my MAC Fix Plus right here and some hand sanitizer some brush cleanser as well. I've also got the Bobbi Brown brush cleanser. Here is all of my different bronzes and as well as I'm like a foundation whore, I'm also a bronzer whore. Um, but you'll see that as you watch right now. <laughs> I've got um, the new one from the um, MAC Wash and Dry collection. This one is called Delicates. It's so beautiful. Then I've got a new bronzer from Art Deco. I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm really excited. It's kind of like a two-in-one. I really like this one actually, the colour of it. I've also got my lovely golden light bronzer from um, Bobbi Brown. And I've also got the solar powder uh, bronzer from um, Soap and Glory. I like that one. But I've got the Betty Luminizer. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually a highlighter or a bronzer, but I can use it as a bronzer and a kind of like a blush as well. So that's what I use it for. And the last one is a limited edition from um, Elizabeth Arden, I believe. Yes, this is one called Warm Glow. Really beautiful. Over here I've got some more. I've got the Dream Sun from Maybelline. Some from Cool Cars. Um, from Milani. And um, my lovely Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer. This is a cream bronzer. Oops. It looks like that. I've got some Wet n Wild, some um, Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder, and also my Clarins bronzer. This is so beautiful. This was a limited edition, but it looks incredible. Over here, um, I've got my Bobbi Brown um, foundation stick. This is in the color 6.5 because I want to use it for bronzing and stuff like that. So I store it down there. Then I've got some Bourjois of these are like the chocolate ones that smell so, so good. I've got my um, Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow palette, both a bronzer and a highlighter. And I've also got the um, Naked Flush from Urban Decay with three different shades, both a bronzer, highlighter and a blush. Really great for traveling. I've also got the 
Nas and Mari palette, which I was dying to get, and I love it. I don't really use it that much because it's kind of like a collector's thing for me, but it's so beautiful, and it comes with both blushes and bronzes and a highlighter. I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I've got it in the light version. As you can see, I've used it way too much. It looks so dirty. Here, I've got the My Sculpted Face from It Cosmetics, which is such a great palette. Um, it comes with six different highlighting and bronzing and contouring shades. Here in the back I store some extra like um, false eyelashes so I don't really use them. And over here I've got my Hoola bronzer from Benefit, we all know that one. And also this is from um, Chanel, this is a, what's it called, the Beige Healthy Glow Multicolor. And it looks like this, it comes with three different colors. Um, I've also got a limited edition thing from MAC, this was from the Brooke Shields collection. Looks like this, it's called Scone. So let's close this drawer and move on. The first two drawers you saw were all of my like face products and now we move on to all of my eye products and they are in this drawer. Firstly, let's start out with all of my mascaras. Over here, I've got all of my drugstore mascaras and over here, I've got all of my high-end ones. And as you can see, they have totally piled up and I need to go through all of my mascaras. I just wanted to wait till I've showed you all of my mascaras. I've got an extra of the Full Slash Wings Effect Mascara from L'Oreal. This is so great. I've also got the L'Oreal. Mega Volume Miss Manga Pungi Mascara. I love this one. Don't buy this one. This is absolute crap. This is from Ribble. I hated it so much. The Last Sensational is great as well. And also the um, Masterpiece Transform from uh, Max Factor is great. And also the Rockhead. I am once again cray cray with high end mascaras. Um, and I really just want to try out so many different ones. I've tried out the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes and also the Lights Camera Lashes mascara. It's right there. I don't like any of them, unfortunately. I think they're way too clumpy. Um, I've got some testers here on the um, Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara, some um, Lancome. This was from the Alba Elbas collection. Such a beautiful packaging. This is the one called Who Knows. Doll Eyes Mascara. I've got the Grandeur um, Lancome Mascara. This is so, so great. And also the Benefit Roller Lash, which is one of my favorites at the moment. I've also got the Benefit They're Real and also um, Full Fat Lashes from Charlotte Tilbury, some Givenchy, um, MAC as well, some Dior ones, um, what more, Elizabeth Arden, um, just different ones. And also I've got my beloved um, uh, Lancome Definis Cells Mascara. And here in the back I've got some eyelash curlers and some eyelashes from the Lancome Alba Elbers collection. And over here I store, oh there were another um, mascara, this is the um, Plump Defy, so so great, this is a waterproof version, uh, a water resistant. And I've got some eyelashes here from e.l.f. and also a duo glue. Then if we move over here, I've got all of my like liquid eyeliners and also my gel liners as well. I've got some from Bobbi Brown. This one is the one called Black Mauve Shimmer Ink. So, so beautiful, like a mauve purpley color. And also the black ink one, obviously, from Bobbi Brown. And I've also got a really cool one from Dior. This is the Dior Addict one and looks so, so cool. It's kind of like a neon pink, some from Chanel, and um, one more Elf as well, Ico, um, Cool Cars, MAC, and I've also got the Bobbi Brown ink liner, which is actually really good. This comes with a felted tip, as you can see. And also over here, I've got all of my cream um, shadows or paint pots from MAC. I've got the one called Bad Study. Um, what's this one is um, Constructivist, Painterly, Stormy Pink, Vintage Section, and Eclair. Over here I've got some eyeshadows and also some cream shadows from um, Maybelline. These are the color for 24 hours tattoos. Obviously I've got the one called Back to the Bronze and also the one called called um, Inked in Pink, which is such a pretty pink one. I've also got some um, MAC shadows here, some individuals that I have to depart. This is the one called Cory and Gesso and Red Brick. Oh, I've got the L'Oreal, what are they called, Infallible eyeshadows. This is one called Taupe uh, Bronze and also Abba Rush, but they're so, so beautiful and so pigmented. In the back right here, I've got some different like glitters and also some um, Loose pigments as well, so just some different ones. These are from Cool Cars. 
I've also got some from MAC and back here I've just got some drugstore eyeshadows that I don't really use that much and over here I store all of my smaller eyeshadow palettes I've got a lot of MAC ones but I've also got some Bobbi Brown ones this was from the Surf and Sand collection from Bobbi Brown I've also got the Urban Decay um, Naked 2 Basics palette I do prefer the Naked 1 uh, or the Naked Basics one if I must be honest I've also got the Cinderella palette from MAC the, um, what's this called? Uh, Devilishly Dark um, from the Riri collection. This one is called Her Coco and just some different ones. Here I've got some more of my Bobbi Brown eyeshadows. As you can see, some more like colored ones because Bobbi Brown is also colors. As you can see, these are such great colors. I really want to do a look with these colors. Over here, some more eyeshadow palettes. The NYX, um, the Runway collection one really beautiful. This one is called Caviar Bubbles. I've also got the um, Too Faced with Draw Eyes. Uh, it looks pretty. Um, I actually got this one sent from um, Bobby Brown because they thought I'd done such a great job at the counter. So um, I've got the best job in the entire world. Just saying. This is the Charlotte Tilbury quote from them called Dolce Vita. Beautiful. In this little one in the front here, I actually store all of my primers, my eye primers. I've got the Smashbox Photo Finish Lip Primer, the MAC um, Extended Eye Base 24 Hour One, the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Eye Base. I've got the um, Insta Blur from. Um, the body shop, I've got some Lorac ones. Over here I've got all of my eyeliners that comes in pencils and I've also got some cream shadow sticks as well as you can see from Bobbi Brown. This one is called Golden Bronze and it's so beautiful. And um, I've also got some Shadow Tilbury ones. This is the Color Chameleon one in the color Bronze Garnet. But yeah, there's just some NYX chubby sticks, what they call jumbo pencils and um, with more some gush um, eyeliner as well and yeah just a lot of different stuff also Urban Decay and MAC ones as well and over here I store all of my brow products I've got my Anastasia dip brow pomade in the color blonde I've got the archery stick from Soap and Glory my Omega eyeshadow from MAC I've also got the MAC um, what's it called fluid line brow gel cream in the color dirty blonde and I've also got some more like brow powders that you can see my uh, Bobbi Brown brow kit in the color cement Bic. and lastly here's just an overview before we close it now let's move on to the last drawer which is this one where I store all of my lip products I store my lip products here in the middle and then in the sides I store all of my bigger eyeshadow palettes. These are my babies, they are my collector's thing. I love them. So if we begin with all of my eyeshadow palettes, over here I've got some different ones. I've got the Stila written in the stars eyeshadow palette that I don't like. Um, I've got the Narcissus palette, um, some um, the nudes from Maybelline and the La Palette Nude from L'Oreal and also the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. These were from the MAC um, Christmas collection. These are filled with glitters and loose pigments as well. Here I've got, um, I'm not going to open all of them, I'm just quickly going to mention them. I've got the Stila, um, what's it called, Eyes of the Window in the color Mind. Love it, it is all matte eyeshadows. I've also got the Masterclass Palette 2 from Smashbox. As you can see, there's a lot of different um, colors in there. I've got some Urban Decay ones. These were limited edition. I've got the Smashbox Heat Wave, I believe it's called. Beautiful shades in here as well. Very warm toned and shimmery. I've got um, all of my different matte palettes here. Um, some of them were already like pre-made. This one was pre-made. This is a warm one. And I've also got the cool one. And I've got the one that I've made myself, as you can see. And also one that was limited edition from the Brooke Shields collection with all of her favorite colors. In this box here, I actually store all of my like sample sizes of products that I need to try out. And then back here, I've got some more eyeshadow palettes. I've got one from Need and Shore, which is some great earthy shades as you can see. I've got um, all of my Urban Decay 1, 2, 3 um, naked palettes. I've got three, and number two and then number one. There was a time when those were the only eyeshadows that I would use. I've also got the Bronze Goddess eyeshadow palette from Estee Lauder and I've also got the It Cosmetics um, Naturally Pretty 
volume one um, eyeshadow palette. These are kind of like satiny matte um, eyeshadows. I've got the Stila in the light palette. I've got my Lorac number one, number two. These are great, probably the most pigmented eyeshadows I've ever tried. I love them so, so much. And the last one is also from Lorac. This is the one called Unsipped. And this is such a gorgeous um, eyeshadow palette. I just don't use it enough, but I really want to use it for this summer because all of the shades are so warm toned. And the last area is the lipstick and lip liner area and also lip gloss area and lip balm area as well. I've got a lot of MAC lipsticks and also some YSL ones, some Maybelline and I've only got one Tim Ford lipstick, but the one that I've got I absolutely adore. This is a one called um, Pink Dusk. I've also got some e.l.f. ones. Um, these are not really my favorite. I wanted to try them out to see the like pigmentation and so on. They're okay, but they kind of smell funky and I'm not really into that. <laughs> then I've got some more MAC lipsticks right here. And if you've seen my MAC lipstick collection, I will leave it down below so you can go check it out. Then you would know all of these colors. In the back here, I've got some of the... What are they called? Uh, Maybelline Color Elixir Lip Lacquers. These are really, really great. They're kind of like a liquid lipstick kind of thing, and I really like them. And this is a gorgeous red, if you ask me. If you want me to do like a swatch video of these, let me know. And in the back here, I've got some um, Cool Cars ones and a Clinique one as well. And I've also got a Burberry lipstick. This is the most gorgeous packaging in the entire world. I love this color so, so much. It is called number 210, Pink Heather. Then here in the middle, I've got all of my lip glosses. I've got some from Tanya Burr. This is a one called um, Aurora. I've also got some from NYX. This is a one called Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the color um, Sugar Pie. I've got some, some of the Rimmel Apocalypse um, Lip Lacquers. And also just a clear one from MAC. This is really gloopy, so I don't really like to use that one that much. I've also got the MAC, um, what's it called, Richer Lusher Cream Sheen Glass. And then right here, I've got all of my lip liners and like chubby art sticks and lip pencils. And I've obviously got a lot of um, MAC ones. I've got the one called Rosy Rim. I've got Strip Down. I've got um, Whirl and also Saw. I've also got um, some art sticks from Bobbi Brown. This is one called Rose Brown. A perfect like Kylie Jenner-ish color. And I've also got one from the new Hot Collection from Spring. This is a one called Hot Pink. Such a gorgeous color as well. I've got some lip liners from Bobbi Brown. This is one called Brownie Pink. I've got Bear and Nude from Bobbi as well. And I've also got some from Art Deco that I haven't tried out yet. And one more, I've got one from uh, L'Oreal. This is the Contour Parfait. <laughs> in the color 668 Rose Vintage. Over here, I store all of my YSL lipsticks. I really love them. They are great and they are very creamy and lovely on the lips. This one is the one number three, really beautiful purple dark shade. Um, so I've got a different ones of those. Some uh, Maybelline lipsticks. These are the ones from the Color Sensational line. They are very vivid in color, as you can see, very pigmented as well. And I've got all of the different ones from the Vivid collection. I've also got some nude ones. This was a huge fail. I hate this one. This is totally fleshy and just ugly. The one called Tantalizing Taupe is so beautiful. Great color if you want a very nude, beige lip look. Over here, I've got some Chanel lipsticks. I really like Chanel's lipsticks. And these are so cool because you push them and they like, kind of like pop up. And this one is called um, Rouge Lo Velvet in the color 39 La Sandwiz. <sighs> I can't speak French. I've also got some more Bobbi Brown things right here. I've got the one called Salmon. A very salmony nude color as you can see. And I've also got the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in the color Rose. I've got some from Dior as well. This is a beautiful like corally peachy color. This one is called 439. Um, on the beach, great um, summer color. I've also got one of the Narcidaceous lipsticks right here. This is one called Ingrid. Beautiful, like that shade so, so much. Back here, I've got all of my lip balms. Um, I've got some of the um, baby lips from Maybelline, not really my favorite. I've also got one from Ola Hendrickson. This is the Fresh Lips with SPF 15. Great for summer and if you want to protect your lips as well. I've got one from Wet n Wild that is also with SPF um, 15. This one is called Raspberry, yeah, Raspberry. 
I've also got the standard Labello one. These are like the um, lip smackers. This is the one with Sprite's uh, smell and, uh, and taste. Also got one with the cola. Then I've got one from Tomball as well and some EOS um, lip balms as well. I've also got one from um, the Body Shop. This is the one from the Argan Oil Collection. I've got an Ola Henriksen one which is kind of like exfoliating as well. This is the African Red Tea. I've got a new one of the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream lip protectant stick with SPF 15. And then I've also got the um, Nivea Lip Butters. This is one with raspberry and the oops, original one and also the vanilla and macadamia one. But these are all of my lip products and all of my eyeshadow palettes and this is just the last overview of my little heaven. And that concludes my makeup collection of 2015! I did it! I'm through it and I really hope that you enjoyed it. I actually really enjoyed it and I really hope that you like my storage and the way that I do with all of my makeup. I try to store my makeup as efficiently as I can because I want it to be easy and nicely organized. And also just one thing that I want to say is remember when you store your makeup and when you want to like store your makeup properly, store it somewhere safe, somewhere dry and somewhere like where there's no sun and so on. In that way your makeup will last much longer. So from the bottom of my heart, I truly hope that you enjoyed this video. I just really hope that this was everything that you expected and hoped to see and I just really hope that my way of doing it was okay and that you like my storage and that you like my collection and so on. I love my collection of makeup. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Let me know if there's any makeup that I should try out and um, let me know if you've got any different ways to store makeup and stuff like that. Let's share some experience and let's share some love and positivity and happiness because that's what I try to do. Once again, I just want to say thank you so, so much for helping me to reach 30,000 subscribers. It's absolutely amazing and I'm so thankful, I'm so humble and I just want to go like this because you guys are amazing and you're the reason why I've gotten this far so thank you so much, you mean the world to me. If you haven't subscribed already and if you're new on my channel, please hit the subscribe button because that would make me so so happy and help me even more here on YouTube and um, yeah, I haven't got anything else to say. Thank you for watching this very special and exciting video. I love you all so so much to the moon and back and just everywhere. Bye!